Hey everybody, it's Jen. Um, I'm kind of close up right now. I'm going to do a little bit of a really quick going out look. Um, I've already done my eyebrows using Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown on the outer edge and soft brown in the inner corner. And then I carved my eyebrows out with my MAC Select cover up and I believe it's NW20. So I just carve underneath my brow and just clean, clean up any of the pomade that kind of got all over the skin. And then I'm using this um, Belevance Care um, Lash Conditioner and I have this in my project pan so I don't really want to show you guys how much I have left because that video will be going up soon. Um, so yeah, I use that to set my brow and now I want to move on to the shadow part. Um, for my primer I have used the um, Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and this is in the shade original. I'm going to take um, Soft Brown which is from MAC and I'm going to put that in the crease using my EB13 brush so I'm going to use this shade right here and my EB13 from Sedona Lace. Soft Brown EB13 in the crease. The next shade I want to go in with um, is going to be Heritage Rouge and this is from um, MAC. This is one of the older sort of pots that they came in. And um, I, kind of a Christmas spoiler, but I know I'm getting the set from MAC from my husband because I was there when he bought it. Um, but he's not giving it to me until Christmas Day because that's not, otherwise it's not really a Christmas present if you give it technically right away, even though the video camera that I'm using is from my husband for Christmas. So yeah, um, I don't want to get everything now and have like nothing to open on Christmas. But that has this color in it and so I want to try and use some of this. Also, I haven't used it in a while, and I'm really excited to start using it again. I'm going to take, let's see, um, E25 blending brush from Sigma. You can use any blending brush you like. And basically, all I have done is put a little bit of it in a um, lid. So I use the lid now to um, blend my eyeshadows in with like eye drops and stuff like that. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my blending brush and put that in the outer corner. And basically it's going to go almost everywhere on the lid, but just staying toward like the outer section. And keep the center sort of um, clean. Like this pigment is gorgeous. If you don't have it, I definitely recommend it. It's just stunning. And I barely use it. So I'm glad that now um, I know that I'm getting it again. And I kind of want to use it up. But since I've opened it and I've played around with it, it's just like I can't even get enough. I don't know why I, I neglect some of my shadows. But Project Pan is really helping. So yeah. But definitely you just want to really coat this um, all around. Like... Um, try and fade it toward like the center. Mine is not quite blank, but I'll just put a really tacky eyeshadow base down on top of that. Um, but yeah, basically just blend it around really, really nicely. This does blend really easily. I know this probably looks like a bit much right now. Um, we're going to be smoking it out a bit, but I just want to have a really good amount of product on. And then we're going to add quite a bit of orange. The next thing I want to do is take a pencil brush. Can I find one? Yes, I can find one. <laughs> I'm going to take carbon. And I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. And this is just a no-name, like, I think it's from Walmart, drugstore, whatever. I'm not even sure. Um, just take a pencil brush and get that into carbon or whichever black matte eyeshadow you want to use and that's just going to go in the outer corner and then right along in the crease so you might want to try and keep your eye open a little bit but sink it right in as deep as possible into your crease And try to layer it like you don't want to go too black too quick um, just because it's 
a little bit harder to blend it out. I mean, it should be okay because you have a lot of eyeshadows down, but you just want to make sure that you have enough down that it deepens up the crease. Like, I'm sure you can tell the difference between the two eyes that this one is way more deepened and then this one is just sort of a little bit more soft and flat. And then I'm just going to take my blending brush again and go right over top of that and blend that out a little bit. The next thing I want to do is do underneath my brow and I'm going to take my Sedona Lace Quad and I'm going to use this shade called Headliner right here and I'm just going to take that on my 9, oh no sorry, my 305 brush from Sedona Lace and that's just going to go right underneath the brow just to set the cover up. And then I want to take um, soft brown again, right here, and I'm going to go back in with my EB13 brush and just blend out the edges. That's the dog. They're not like you know, throwing pots and pans around. I really enjoy this blending brush so much. It's really great. And then I'm going to go back in with Headliner, which is the lightest shade there. And I'm just going to blend that out to brighten it up a little bit, just so that soft brown doesn't kind of take over. You do want to transition, but you want to make sure that you keep that really nice and vibrant, because there's a lot of darkness going on in the eye. The next thing I want to do is go in with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, uh, and this is in Glitter Glue. And this is like my holy grail for anything glitter, any shadows, any actual glitter. Um, this is like the most amazing glitter product. I just take a little bit on my ring finger and like mush them together to warm up the product. And then I'm going to dab that into the center of my eye, focus that where it's like pretty much blank. And then just apply the other the rest of it, just kind of dab it around so that it fades. And then I'm going to take, after I wipe my finger off, I'm going to take just a little eyeshadow brush, nothing special, um, and I'm going to go in with um, Samara, I think it's called Samara, and it's the um, coppery shade in this little Sedona Lace Quad Palette, so it's like a copper penny color. And that's just going to go on the center of the lid. Oof. There's a major fallout on that. But that's just going to go in the center of the lid. I'm going to take the blending brush and just blend around it. So that's pretty much it for eyeshadows. So that's basically it. Um, now I think I'm going to tight line and do some mascara.
So I'm basically done my face. Um, I'm going back to my eyes now. I'm going to zoom in. So I'm just basically going to finish off the remainder of the eyes because I've just kind of worked on my face. So I'm just going to take a little bit of what's left in the lid here for Heritage Rouge on a short smudge brush. And this one is from e.l.f. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Heritage Rouge pigment on the tip of the brush. And that's going to just go, I just put a little bit of um, Too Faced Perfect Black Eyeliner and I smudged it out a bit. And then I'm going to put that right on there. And I'm only putting that in like the outer um, two thirds. I'm not going to mimic the top because I just want it to have a bit of a different look. I'm going to take soft brown on this little elf brush and that's just like a precision brush and I'm going to buff out Heritage Rouge just underneath it just so it, it blends and it transitions nice. If you put concealer on I'd recommend um, transitioning with a creamer color if you have like lighter concealer underneath um, depending on your skin tone if you have even a deeper skin tone then soft brown would be perfect but if you're super ultra light like me right now because it's winter time um, and you have concealer on like NW20, NW15 I recommend using a cream to transition and then I'm going to take that Samara color I think I'm saying that right I don't know but I'm going to take this color right here and that's going to go on the same little brush because I'm pretty much done with it now. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of it in the inner corner. So it's going to pull some pop of color to the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm going to take nylon and my 305 brush. And just put that on the inner corner, inner tear duct. Then I'm just going to apply mascara to the bottom. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this. Sorry about my hair. I have to go and get ready now. Um, but yeah, this is basically the final look. Um, really soft and simple fun for just heading out and you can easily dress this up or dress it down so um I really really like this eye look so much I think it's versatile and good for pretty much anybody I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see but this is the final look So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. And I will see you guys again next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.